In 2014, there was a crisis in West Africa. Three countries, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, were experiencing an outbreak of a virus known as the Ebola virus. Ebola was first discovered in 1976, and every time it showed up thereafter, it caused great and terrible destruction to villages. Ebola efficiently attacks the immune system of its host and within days kills about 50% of its victims. This time, 25,000 Liberians and Sierra Leoneans were infected. 11,000 died. The outbreak of this virus caused many countries to halt flights coming in from West Africa. During the height of the Ebola virus outbreak, an individual, Mr. Patrick Sawyer, flew from Liberia to Nigeria. After arriving at the airport, he fainted and was rushed to the hospital. Mr. Sawyer showed symptoms of a disease that was improperly diagnosed as malaria. After he was admitted into the hospital, an endocrinologist and chief consultant at that hospital, Dr. Stella, examined Mr. Sawyer and quickly determined that he was not suffering from malaria. Rather, the symptoms indicated something far more sinister. Dr. Stella immediately acted on her medical hypothesis, placed the patient in quarantine, and informed the government. Despite immense pressures to release the patient, Dr. Stella courageously stood her ground and refused to release a desperately frustrated Mr. Sawyer. Within days, Patrick Sawyer would die of his infection. Confirmation of Ebola diagnosis and Mr. Sawyer's death meant that Nigeria needed to act speedily to contain the spread of Ebola. With the support of the government, Dr. Stella was instrumental in tracking down the individuals that had come in contact with patient zero, and a total of 20 Ebola cases were discovered in Nigeria. Sadly, Dr. Stella and three other colleagues died many weeks later from the same virus they had helped stop. Dr. Stella's prowess as a doctor and scientist, her passion and her larger-than-life purpose stood between Ebola and Nigeria's 200 million people that would have been completely decimated. The story of Dr. Stella is truly a testament that one person's courage can be contagious. It tells of a remarkable woman who was determined to get it right. It is also proof that we as a nation can get things done if we put our minds and effort to it. And finally, the history of Africa will never be written without a mention of the courage of Stella Ameo Adadevo.